I'm here in Bridgewater, New Jersey at an Electrify America charging station. We pulled into a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger and we are going to do a DC fast charge test on this 2021 Mustang Mach-E in beautiful grabber blue with the extended range battery pack. This has the 99 kilowatt hour battery pack and we are going to test it from zero to 100%. That's correct, we pulled in at zero. I just completed a 70 mile an hour highway range test in which the Mach-E drove 282.5 miles and the estimated range re remaining showed that it could go another three miles, although the state of charge was at zero. That's when we end the tests, when the state of charge hits zero. Sometimes it shows a few miles remaining. In this case, it showed that there was three miles of range remaining. So you could either call it at 282.5 or give it those extra three miles and say 285.5. Either way, the Mustang Mach-E did fantastic in our 70 mile an hour highway range test. We're now going to plug in and do a full DC fast charge test. We're recording the whole thing. So after this, we're going to play that and talk about where we're at, the state of charge, the charging curve, how good or poorly the Mach-E does on its DC fast charge test. Now the Mach-E has a maximum 150 kilowatt DC fast charge capability, uh, but early reports are that it doesn't hold that maximum rate for very long. We're gonna find out today just how well it does. It's pretty warm out here. As I said, we just drove it down to zero. The battery should be nice and warm. Shouldn't have any problems with that. Um, we're also gonna check out plug-in charge. This vehicle is equipped with plug-in charge and so are these Electrify America DC fast charge stations. So I should just be able to lift the connector up, open the charge port, plug it in, and it should start charging seamlessly. Let's try out that right now. Okay, she's connecting and it says connecting to vehicle. It's got the whirling circle of doom, but let's see what happens. Processing payment, payment accepted. Initializing charging, plug-in charge has worked. Yay. <laughs> so now we're gonna record this whole charging session and analyze it later, talk about where we're at, talk about how quickly it charged, the charging curve, how long it held maximum charge rate. So stay tuned and that part of the video is coming up next. As soon as we plug in, the charge rate immediately jumps up to 145 kilowatts, but it only holds it for two minutes. And at 5% state of charge, we're already beginning to ramp down. In four minutes, we reach 10% state of charge and we're taking in 106 kilowatts. It takes nine minutes to reach 20% state of charge. And at that point, we're taking in 107 kilowatts. 14 minutes, we're at 30% state of charge. We're still holding at about 106 kilowatts, the same as what it was taking in when we were at 10%. Uh, in 20 minutes in, we're at 40% state of charge and we're taking in 97 kilowatts. At 50%, it's 26 minutes in and we're still taking in 78 kilowatts. Now, I'm gonna stop the video here at 30 minute mark because if you notice, at 30 minutes, we've taken in 49 kilowatts and we're at 55% state of charge. That's when the point where we've added 150 miles of range, which is one of the metrics I like to look at. How long does it take? It took 30 minutes to add 150 miles of range. It then takes a few more minutes and 33 minutes into the charging session, we're at 60% state of charge. We're still holding that 79 kilowatt draw. Uh, at the 40 minute mark is when we hit 70%. And again, now we're up to 80 kilowatts. So it's basically the same draw since we were at 50% state of charge. Uh, seven minutes later, at 47 minutes, we hit the 80% mark, beating what Ford promises of 10% uh, to 80% in 52 minutes. We did zero to 80% in 47 minutes. 
We're still charging, but I want to do a quick update. As soon as it hit 80%, the charge rate fell off a cliff and went down to 13 kilowatts. So we're going to be here a really long time going from 80% to 100%, I bet. But we're going to record the whole thing. We'll talk about it later. Um, but I'm actually feeling a little bit better about Mustang Mach-E charging now. Plug-in charge worked on the first attempt. And then we got from basically zero to 80% in 47 minutes. That's not that bad. It, no, it's not the best. There's definitely EVs that can charge faster than the Mustang Mach-E. But this is a big battery, 88 kilowatt hours usable. And I was able to get uh, 80% of that in 47 minutes. It's really not that bad. Stay tuned. We're going to next show the video, go over the whole charging session, talk about what it peaked at, when it started dropping off, and uh, hopefully I won't be here all night waiting for this thing to get to 100%. So as you can see, after it hit 80% state of charge, the charge rate dropped down to about 12 kilowatts and it's holding it the whole time. Uh, so I sped up this time lapse a little bit quicker so it's not painfully slow to watch. All right, we're at the two hour mark now, and it seems like this is never going to end. Ever since 80% state of charge, which we reached in about 47 minutes, the car's been charging at between 12 and 13 kilowatts. So it's two hours now. And we're only at 95%. So we got 80% charged in 47 minutes. And now from 47 minutes to two hours, we only got 15% more charge. So let me reset that. This is painful. The lesson here is do not stay at a DC fast charger past 80% if you have a Mustang Mach-E. Unless you absolutely have to stay there because you need the range. At 80%, unplug and leave. Now, we say that with most EVs because the, the charging rate drops off dramatically typical, you know, for all electric vehicles, but not as much as this. The, the Mach-E in particular has an extremely slow charge rate once you hit 80%. Now, it's possible that Ford will update the software and tweak that in the future, but for now, 80%, unplug, get out of there because it's not worth hanging out. We're going to stay till 100%, but this has been a long day here. So that's it for our DC fast charge test on the 2021 Mustang Mach-E with the extended range battery pack. What did we learn? Okay, first and foremost, do not remain plugged in on a DC fast charger past 80% unless you absolutely need the extra range if you have a Mustang Mach-E because the, the charge rate reduces down to a level two charge rate of only about 12 kilowatts. Ford promises a 10 to 80% charge on the DC fast charger in 52 minutes, we were able to accomplish a zero to 80% charge in 47 minutes, better than what Ford promises. We also were able to recharge, to um, replenish 100 miles of range in 18 minutes. That's one of the metrics that I use when I do these DC fast charge tests. How long, when you initially plug in, does it take to recoup 100 miles of driving range because quite often when you're on a long drive or road trip with an EV, you don't need to fully recharge the battery, just need an extra boost to get you to where you're going. And uh, 100 miles is a good additional charge. It's another couple hours of driving. So the Mustang Mach-E took 18 minutes from the time we plugged in to replenish 100 miles of driving range. That's if you use the EPA standard as the metric for the, uh, the amount of range on a full charge. Uh, it also was able to replenish 150 miles in 30 minutes. So not bad. It's not the best charging for, uh, electric vehicle on DC fast charge, but it absolutely isn't the worst. And it's fine for road tripping, in my opinion. Um, you know, the, the Mustang mach has gotten some bad rap on, on uh, some of the people that have, have reviewed it for DC fast charging. And I understand because Ford's done some strange things where when you plug in, 
Uh, you only get the maximum charge rate of up to 150 kilowatts for like two minutes. It's time-based rather than at a certain state of charge, it drops off. Uh, and that's unusual and we haven't seen that before. So we've definitely seen some people say, you know, what, what, how come you only get a couple minutes of the fastest DC fast charge rate? I have a feeling Ford's going to rework their software and maybe adjust that a little bit in the future. But even as is, it's not terrible. This is fine uh, for road tripping. We also saw that plug and charge works. Now, I've, I, I used it on a couple other occasions. And every time I used it, it I plugged in immediately and it, it, it um, communicated with the charging station and initiated plug and charge. That's another thing we've seen that some of the other reviewers uh, on YouTube here have uh, had difficulty with plug and charge. That's location specific. I might just be lucky here where I do this in New Jersey that the charging stations have the proper software and it could be vehicle specific also. Some of the other cars could be, uh, you know, running on older software. Ford hasn't updated the software because these are mostly pre-production vehicles that the media has been uh, testing out and using for reviews. Uh, so maybe I'm just lucky, but uh, plug-in charges worked seamlessly every single time I charged, I tr tried to use it on the Mustang Mach-E. Uh, so that's a wrap on the Mustang Mach-E DC fast charge test. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. And don't forget, click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge.